Good day there my fellow fans and welcome to the channel. Today's Royal News. Royal experts have begun to fear the overwhelming possibility of Harry and Meghan walking their separate ways because of the pretty strong headwinds. These thoughts and insights have been brought to light by Royal commentator and author Daniela Alsa. She started the conversation off by talking about Meghan Markle's struggle post-birth and Megxit. From her suicidal ideation to the stress of having news agencies permanently parked outside their house, Miss Alsa claimed, and on top of that, only a handful of years she have both become estranged from their families. Not to mention the fact that they have moved countries twice, moved house four times in just over a year, had another baby, gone to the barricades in taking on a 1,000 year old institution and had to suddenly start earning a hell of a lot of money and fast to keep the lights on. The pressure they must have been under, or perhaps are still under, would have most people reaching for the Nikwil and a family sized packet of Cadbury dairy milk, let alone when you add in that they probably permanently have TMZ parked outside their front gate. But another factor, Harry and Meghan on paper would seem to be completely different people when it comes to career interests and education. While none of this is insurmountable stuff, but add it all up and Harry and Meghan have really faced and might still be facing some strong headwinds. Meanwhile, royal experts are of the opinion that Meghan Markle is leaving Prince Harry in the dust with his PR. This warning has been issued by News Corp columnist Louise Roberts. She weighed in everything while chatting with Sky News Australia. In the midst of this chat, she broke down Meghan Markle's alleged PR plan and claimed she seems to be going from strength to strength with Meghan Incorporated. In light of this, Ms. Roberts feels it'll be very interesting to see what happens to the brand because at the moment it seems to be more about her rather than Harry at the moment. This claim has come in response to similar allegations that Prince Harry's PR package is causing him to lose more than he can ever afford. It also comes in response to conversations surrounding Meghan Markle's current bid to paint the town red without Prince Harry at her side. According to royal commentator Ingrid Seward, there has been a lot of gossip and a lot of talk that Meghan's been out and about in LA without Harry. But I think that, you know, they have probably just reached the stage in their marriage where they can now do their own thing. They were absolutely together like glue, weren't they, before? But I don't think that the marriage is floundering. I just think they're finding, you know, a little bit of independence from each other, which we've never seen before. That's it, you know. People change, relationships change, they change in together. It doesn't mean it's the end of their marriage. Or maybe it does. What's your opinion on the matter? Leave a comment below, like and subscribe. Stay tuned to the channel for the latest royal news. Goodbye for now.